one. Uh, I'm Matt, and it looks like I may have had a slight camera malfunction before. Um, so I'm p painting the glue lamps um, from the Infinity Demo Pack. I am painting them with uh, contrast colors. So the colors, I colors I'm going to use are Creed Green, Creed Camo, Skeletal Horde, Black Templar, <coughs> and Dark Wolf Flesh. Um, so I already started painting this guy up in the camo green, so I'm yeah, Creed Camo. So let's just uh, try and finish this off. I'm only painting the um, material, trying to avoid the armor, which will be the kind of skeletal horde color. Um, and any um, strapping and webbing, any straps and things, I will probably paint up in black later on after th getting everything done in this uh, in the contrast colors uh, using contrast colors be met primarily to test them out because I haven't used them before I've had them for a while but never used them um, so that's mostly my hand at the same way. Um, Uh, secondly, because it's quick and easy to get a uh, very kind of detail oriented base coat down. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm using this. Um, a lot of this video may be time lapsed because it's very um, boring, I suppose, to watch and listen to a little guy. Talk about painting. Hopefully this is all in focus. Uh, as I said on the previous video where I painted up the Zan she's using contrast colors. Uh, I am using the new uh, Sharp Aquas R to try and record these um, as another sort of camera test in this little series. If this works well, we may use the camera, this camera, permanently. Um, if it doesn't work as well as I intended, I'm probably going to be getting a somewhat more uh, full-on camera um, dedicated to recording videos. Um, but the phone, I got the phone because my wife dropped it. <laughs> dropped my old one. My old one was a... Um, Sharp 507H, which is uh, Android One, one of the early Android One phones. Uh, it was the camera wasn't great. The battery kind of died a lot. So um, yeah, I'm doing. So yeah, that's what happened to my camera. Um, I'm doing these guys this color because this is the color kind of color scheme I really intended for the main army but kind of drifted away as most people ended up with heavy kind of brown and I imagine a leather trench coat so there's a lot more brown involved in the faction than what I had initially planned so I'm just going to try and get all this green done on him. Uh, so the guns will be the black colour. Um, just because I think it looks the most simple and easiest uh, to do. Um, the face will be obviously a dark face. I'll probably keep his hair the um, hair black. So let's move on to this skeletal tunnel. Let's um, close this up before I knock it over. I'm going to paint just one on camera, then I'll paint all the others up to the same detail. Then I'll um, maybe do a video of doing some of the details, some of the straps using the Vallejo color. Just to see how that works. <clears throat> Uh, 
Now, hopefully, this comes out in the color I really expect it to. Let's uh, try a little bit on the back here. A little bit. He's just loading up his brush like a maniac. Okay. It's like a light kind of deserty brown, which is good. That's pretty good for a color I want. Um, color I wish I could come up with using more natural color. Oh, I'm very close as well. Okay, bye bye arm. Might be helpful as we try and paint my chest, actually. You were kind of getting in the way, Army. I wouldn't say paint, you choose to use uh, contrast paints for everything. Um, I don't uh, think they're that great at getting into details and things. Or correction. They're great at getting into the details such as the lines all around the end, webbing and pouches and things. But in terms of other little details, um, I kind of feel like they miss out a lot. So let's just paint. So I'm going to paint this while it's separated. Just paint up the hands in, because they have this kind of uh, flak padding, I guess. Flak armor. So that's the one arm done. And then let's paint up the second arm holding the knife. Let's finish getting there. Get behind his neck here. as we can. Keep the excess moving about a bit. Otherwise it can pull and just look terrible. Try and get the underside of the arm pads. Like that. I've already got that one. Okay. I can see I've missed some bits that were covered up by the um <coughs> gun. So I'm just gonna quickly go over with the green again using a finer brush. So in here definitely needs a Say hello, honey. Oh, right? No, they can't see you. Mm -hmm. They can hear you. <laughs> if I don't edit it out. Hopefully, Jean stays quiet. Yes, a oh, noisy dog. Okay, so I work next to you. Yay. Excuse me. That's okay. Do you want me to move some stuff? That's okay, that's okay. You don't need that in the way, right? And you don't want this in your way. I just need to make a lots, lots of invoices. Okay, well you need to make lots of money too, so that I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that arm done? I did have a warning before of the camera overheating. Oh. We recorded about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. But the battery. Okay. 
Slash down. Now I'm going to use the black temper and we're just going to fill in the hair uh, very quickly. And we're also going to use this to do the combat knife and the gun. Okay, now the Blackstone, I'm just going to do a quick touch up on some of the areas I missed with the Creed Camel Colour. And finally, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a touch-up on the feet and some of the areas with the skeletal tone, just to make sure that it's all covered and there aren't any areas where the primer is still showing. Final thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to reattach his arm, which fell off early in the build, so just a little bit of super glue, and then pop his arm right back on. Okay. And here we have the finished result. This is all three done, and the female has been done, the hair with a flesh tar terrors red. Um, thank you for watching, and like and subscribe. See you.